So following on from the previous video, let's give you guys an example now. So let's say you've been given this position vector. So when you read this, your eyes should zoom into this bit here. On the uh, on the x y axis, it's going to do it's going to move around. Sorry, on the uh, on the x y axis, it's going to move around in circles, and then it's going to gain in height as time goes on. So it's going to give you this. So um, so we've seen that the um, the arc length is given by this formula. Uh, we want to somehow create a machine in such a way that when we insert a time, it will give us the arc length. So we, we insert a time, let's say after two seconds, um, we want to know the distance uh, traveled in two seconds. We want to create a function where we insert a time and we spit out a, uh, an arc length. So the arc length, so, so looking at the uh, formula of the arc length, um, differentiate the x component, so differentiate it, it will then give you this, square it, square it, differentiate this, that will then give us this, uh, don't forget to square it, and then when you differentiate this, it's going to, it's going to give you 1, square it, it will give you 1. So the arc length is given by this, from A to B, and remember, we, we're trying to create a function uh, where we insert the time, so, uh, so we are trying to to create a function where you insert a time and then it will give us the arc length from time zero to whatever t may be for, for our variable t. But remember from the previous video, we need to change all the t's to u, to a different variable u, because we don't want, we don't want this t to clash with these t's here. So look, looking at the arc length, we don't want, uh, we don't, because we, we want to do it from zero to t, we don't want this t to clash with these t's here. So we need to change the t to u. Change this t to u. Integrate it with respect to u. Now, now this is our variable t. This is our variable t. So that will then take us to here. So the arc length is given by this. So now, um, now tidy this up. So, uh, so this thing here will be one. Will be one. One plus one will be two. So that, so that will be square root of 2. Integrate it with respect to u. That will then give us this. Now we can put t. Remember, t is a variable. We can put t into here. Uh, and then take away, put 0 into here. Then, then that will then give us this. Now we've got, the, um, we've got a formula in a way. Um, for, for, given time, for given time, we will immediately know the, uh, the arc length. So let's say t equals 2. Let's just imagine it's here. Then, then, then this thing here will then give us this distance here, the distance traveled along that path after 2 seconds. So we've got, a, we've got a function. For a given time, we can work out the distance traveled along that path. So, um, so, so once, once, once we've got this formula, we can invent another formula or, or another machine where you insert the arc length so let's say let's say you insert this length here, and it should spit out the time it takes to get there. So so we, we should be able to work out the time it takes to get there. If we know the time, if we know t, then we can work out its location. So so here we've got the um, we've got the the we we we've got a way of finding out the arc length. So um, so now we need to create this function here where we insert a time. So we we insert the arc length, and then we can we can work out the location. So this is our formula here. The arc length, um, the, uh, yeah, the, the arc length is given by, by this thing here. So we can work out the time. So so looking at this, hang on, let, let's say you insert this length here. You insert this length here. So, so you insert this length here. So you can work out the time by dividing both sides by square root of two. So that will then give us, a, give us the time. Once we know the time it takes to get from here to here, then, uh, well, this is our time here. We can put it back into here to find out its location. So that will then give us this. That will then give us this. So, um, yeah, so, so now we have a way of finding out the location for given, for given arc length, okay, which is given by this, okay?